We began with a surfboard. UC San Diego chemistry professor Michael Burkhart is in a greenhouse on the UCSD campus talking about a journey that began in 2008 when he and his students started making gasoline from algae. But once it became clear big oil wasn't about to tolerate fuel from algae replacing fossil fuels, they went in a different direction. They started making polyurethanes from algae. That led to the surfboard, and once word got out about that, Burkhart says the phone started ringing. From just about anybody that uses polyurethane, from shoe companies to companies that make yoga mats to companies that make pool noodles. And they all asked us, can you make renewable polyurethanes? And we said yes. The process of turning algae into renewable polyurethanes starts with making cultures in a lab. Then they're brought here to grow in these things called raceway ponds. We'll grow these up until they get nice and, and dense. Um, at, that, at which point then we will separate the algae from the water. That yields this green goop. The process then moves back to the lab where a lot of very scientific mixing and measuring goes on until what was green goop is transformed into polyurethanes and eventually poured into these forms. The whole idea is to move away from plastics made from fossil fuels that can take up to 1,000 years to decompose. We really only want to be making materials that have the ability to decompose and or can be recycled. After all the algae cultivation and all the work done here in the lab, it all comes down to this. The sole for a flip-flop, an environmentally friendly flip-flop. A flip-flop that, depending on where it's discarded, can completely degrade in just 16 weeks. The scientists working on this have formed a company that's working with a local manufacturer to bring the flip-flops to market. That should happen sometime next year. One small step to help rid the earth of non-biodegradable plastics, or call it a giant stride towards saving the planet. John Carroll, KPBS News.